What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today and today we're gonna finish up World of Warship and we're gonna do so at 4k on my bedroom TV here. So we're all set up on the ground here and ready to go. Probably not gonna do so great at aiming anymore, but hey, it is what it is. It's more of a showing you how it runs more than how good can I play the game anyway. Every once in a while I do pretty good though. Surprise myself. Anyway though, why don't we hop in and look at some settings. All right, now it's time to get some 4k done here. And we're gonna start off very low, but first let's look at all the top guys here. There we go, very low. So let's just look over these settings real quick before we hop into the game. And as always, I will do FSR at the very end. All right, starting off on very low at 4K, which seems kind of silly, but we're still doing it because I like doing all the settings. Because I had so many people want to play on their TV, but they still actually don't care about graphics, but 4K is still their native resolution. Though personally for me in this game, I don't care that much about FPS. I mean, as long as we stay over 60. Although, now that I got my Steam Deck, I even can forgive 30 on some games like Elden Ring and stuff. It kind of just hovers right at around 30 no matter what you do. Even FSR doesn't really seem to help it that much. But, that's okay. I still have fun playing it because I can play Elden Ring anywhere I want. I can play it in bed. I can play it on the toilet. Pretty awesome. Plus other games, I'm enjoying Elden Ring and Batman, although I just got stuck in Batman. I started fighting Slade and he keeps kicking my ass. I'm gonna have to keep trying though. I'm sure I can beat him eventually. Every time in one of those, like even when I did the videos, I kept saying, oh, I'll never be able to beat them. And then like, as soon as I shut the camera off, like one or two tries later, nah, I beat him. That's why you don't doubt yourself. Just keep trying. Well, sometimes I wish I would practice what I preach. <laughs> All right, we took out some guns or at least damaged them pretty bad. Alright, that's toast, so let's move on. Okay guys, we got ourselves some cam recorded very low gameplay here. Ah, I missed him. Stupid land. All right, now I just gotta not crash the fuck into this one. Alright, is that all the enemies over here? Pretty much. There's one way the fuck over there. In 
and we're capturing a base. Which means as soon as we capture this, I think we win. That'd be really weird to be like, you've captured the base. Nothing happens, like, oh, okay. I've never actually, I don't think I've ever actually come over and actually captured the base with the team before. Yep, and there we go. That's a win. I think I got two, maybe only one, let's see. Nope, I got two, hell yeah. Let's move on to low. Moving right along to some low settings now. Again, let's just look up at these real fast. Not too much changed up here too often, but a couple of the check marks turn off and on. Now let's look at low here. And then we will do that guy at the very end. Okay, now we got some low gameplay at 4K here. So let's go close in on our enemy. And the sun is going down. Uh, not gonna lie, I don't think it'd be very fun driving a boat in this kind of area at night. Although they've probably got systems that can tell you where the islands are, because it's not like they've got like sh lights that are bright enough to see that that far, you know? And it's not like a ship that exactly stops on a dime. I imagine it stops even worse than a train. Doesn't have wheels or anything. I think what they, like what I've been doing anyway, is like, if I want to stop really fast, I do full reverse. I don't even know if you can actually do that in a real ship without damaging it, but that's what I do. It's just a video game after all. Definitely not claiming to know what I'm doing at all, because I absolutely don't. But as you can see, we're getting some good FPS still. I think this is going to be another game that we can play on the laptop, even maxed out, but we'll see. I've said that before and then been like, oh, no, never mind, with a uh, bio mutant. Take this guy out. I don't want to hit my teammate, so. When you wait for all of them and fire at the right spot, you can do some fucking damage. Hell yeah. Take him out. There he goes. Enemy cruiser foundered. It has been foundered. Again, wait for my teammate to go by. There's another one. So now, let's go move on. Okay, guys. Now we got ourselves some low camera gameplay here. Just gotta turn around and join the rest of the peeps. Oh, he crashed into the ship. All right, let's head on over here and join the rest of the people. Can I hit anything from here, I wonder? Our victory is in sight. You're damn right it is. Man, now 
not easy to hit from this distance. Hey, look at that. That's a victory. I think I only took down one ship. Oh no, I got two. Cool. And with that, on to the next graphics setting. On to some medium gameplay now. So we'll just look at all of these settings real fast. And now we can move on down to medium here. The effects don't seem to have a medium, so that always just stays on low for medium. And of course, FSR 1.0 at the very end. All right, medium time now. And now it's starting to look a lot better. And even that 4K medium, we're still getting over 200 FPS right here. We'll probably drop down into the high 180s once we actually start getting to the battle itself, but time will tell for that one. hit for luck here. Alright, let's get into range so I can hit this guy. Or at least one of these guys. There's many targets to hit here. So long as I don't run aground onto this damn island. Here's some air raid sirens going off. Alright, we hit him a little, but let's keep it up. Alright, we're fucking this ship up real good. World of destroy that warship. That up. Can I still kill him? Nope, somebody else got him. Oh well, I can't win them all. And at least I didn't crash any of those two. I was honestly kind of worried because I wasn't watching where I was going at all. Our team is taking the lead. All right, though. Why don't we move on? All right. Now we're on medium. Oh, our victory will always be in sight. Screw you, dude, die. You're going down. And there we go. Victory. <clears throat> I think I only got two, maybe only one. Nope, only one. But like I said before, one is better than none. And on to the next graphics setting. Now for a little bit of some high. On 4K, so this should look really nice now. And here's all the high settings. I'm kind of hoping that it will still get over 100 FPS even at high but we will wait and see and of course 
that guy will be at the very end of the video. All right. Didn't get quite as much footage this time around. Sometimes I can't see the number is so well at the top of the TV because I'm sitting at an angle. I thought it said 244 and it only said 144, but that's okay. At least it's still over a minute of footage, so. Hey, look at that. We are over 100 FPS so far anyway. On the horizon, huh? Oh, there's one straggler over there. Looks like they've got that handled. So, oh, no, there's two. I'll go for this guy then. Try to practice my long range shooting here. Nope, didn't hit him that time. Man, there's a lot of them over there, too. They're getting really close to hitting me. So I will return fire on you. Anyway, let's move on. Well, now we got ourselves some high camera recorded gameplay here. Oh, I got hit. How dare you? I don't even know if you're the one that hit me, but I'm gonna take you down one way or the other. I hit him. Oh yeah! One more ought to do it. Enemy cruiser sunk. I have sunk the cruiser. Now there's you. Ooh, missed that time. It's okay. Try again. Got him that time. All right. Missed him that time. There goes another one. You destroyed an enemy cruiser.
Hell yeah, I'm on a roll. There's another one. Our victory is in sight. Hell yeah. Holy crap, I'm going for four minutes. Let's move on. The time for very high settings has arrived, so let's just look over these real fast. There we go, very high. Look over to the very high graphics reset real fast. And then that guy, don't worry about that guy. We'll, f we'll do him at the end. Well, here we go with some very high gameplay. And yeah, definitely looks really nice. We are dropping under 100 already, though. But I still think we can stay above 60 on very high and a maximum. Maximum might be cutting it close, but we will see. That is next, after all. Well, after we get a little camera gameplay after this. And damn, that does look like a nice sunset. It always looks absolutely great on the higher re resolutions and graphic settings. I gotta go cut through these two guys, make sure I'm not gonna crash into nobody. I've been doing pretty good about not crashing my own people, but during the ultra wide, I did crash, have an enemy crash into me, but at least I took him out. But I don't wanna have it before I can just like click around to all my teammates. So I gotta not let that happen again. Alright, that looks like a good target. He is in front of that, isn't he? I think so, yeah. He's for sure in front of that island. For a second, I didn't know if he went behind it or what. And I hit him. Somebody else is probably going to take him out, though, but that's okay. Oh no, I got him. Destroyed an enemy cruiser. Cool. What else do we got around here? Oh, we got you guys. Okay. They're all gonna come help me? Then fine, we'll go fuck these guys up next. Alright, let's get some very high gameplay in now. Fuck this little ship up. Oh yeah, you done. Alright, now let's take care of the rest of these bastards. Or am I gonna crash in anybody? No. Oh, that was horrible. Damn, I need to get closer.
hmm, but if I get closer, I'm not helping capture the base. So let me just try to get a better angle, I guess. Nope, that's not working. They're all hiding behind the damn island on us. Oh well though, why don't we move on? Now for some maximum settings at 4K here. Now this is the one that I'm not sure what's gonna happen, so... I'm hoping for over 60, but who knows? You can do them with 4X and aliasing at 4K after all, so I don't know. And then we'll do FSR right after this. Now we got some maximum General gameplay. Reports. And so far out here, we're above 60, but let's wait and see until we get into some battles and see if I can still say the same. Still in the 80s. Dropped down to 79 there for a quick second. I haven't seen any enemy ships yet. There was 77 for a second there. I'm sure they'll pop up any second now. Yep, there they are. They're getting close to hitting me. I guess I should return fire. And so far, so good on the staying above 60. Oh, that was close. I missed him by like 20 feet. Anybody? Nope, not gonna crash into no one. Maybe I should fire at this guy. He seems like he'll be easier to hit. Damn it, I knew I was gonna get hit soon. There we go. Let me see if I can't get alongside him with my side so I can do some real damage. go. He's getting fucked up now. He's on fire. Oh yeah, you are toast. Okay guys, now we're on maximum. And so far, we have stayed well above uh, 60. Don't fire at your allies. Go around this island over here and fire upon these guys.
Ooh, they're not happy. I'm just about behind cover though, so there's not gonna be a damn thing you can do about it. Itchy neck. Well, all right, I guess. Why don't we go ahead and move on to some FSR? We're about to capture this base anyway. Now it's time for finally some FSR. So first, let's just look over all the settings. It's pretty much just maximum settings. At least that's what I left it on before I clicked on the little FSR logo. So it's gonna say custom, but everything else besides that being toggled is maximum. And as you can see, I've toggled it. There are no drop down menus or any choices. It's just a toggle switch. Now we got some FSR gameplay here to do. So I can definitely see a huge jump in FPS. Definitely noticed quite a bit of quality bump down, at least in the far away stuff when you turn FSR on, but at least it's not that bad. So they're probably using some quality or ultra quality would be my guess. It doesn't look bad enough to be balanced or performance. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad though. It makes it sound like I'm a couple called this is horrible, but no, it doesn't look bad. I could just tell something happened. not crash into the ice. eventually be able to hit them flawlessly from the higher distances. Oh, not quite. There we go, got him that time. Alright though, why don't we go ahead and move on. Now we got ourselves a little FSR action going on here. Man, I keep missing this guy. Let's focus on some of these other guys then, too. Let's wait for the guns. There we go. There we go. That guy just took out his steering, or at least severely damaged it. Damn, he 
got behind the damn island. Gotcha, you, you little bastard. Ah, oh, you stupid island. How dare you get in the way of my shells. Here we go, we're getting somewhere now. Oh, gotta aim up a little, I guess. I can't finish him off. No. Somebody kill him. All right. Well, that's good enough. I thought I'd get one more kill before ending, but I guess they took that away from me. So let's wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, as a wrap for World of Warships. And yeah, this is another game that this laptop can play on any resolution at any setting. No matter what one you want, it can handle it. And I like games like that. Seems like a lot of free games are like that. They probably feel like, hey, well, we probably shouldn't make this completely impossible to play unless you have like a $4,000 computer. So we'll make it so basically everybody can run it, no matter what you other laptop or if you have a or like a integrated graphics laptop or if you have a nice laptop like mine. Hell, you could probably even run this game on the Steam Deck. Though it says it's not supported if I recall last night I looked. Anyway, that's about it for this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next one, peace out guys.